And I must at the outset thank all of you for having the patience, for not uh, really running after us last night, because we all mutually agreed that uh, we should be fair to all our friends from media fraternity, and that's why we fixed this time, one o'clock, so that we can speak to all of you together at the same time. I must start by saying uh, that uh, today is a, a very momentous occasion for the state of Meghalaya. We are setting a new trend for the future of the state and future of the region, future of the nation. With utmost sense of humility, but complete sense of responsibility and commitment towards fulfilling our responsibility in serving the people, serving the state, and serving the nation. We have taken a conscious decision to march with one of the political parties, uh, which all of you know, the All India Trinamool Congress. Now, this is a culmination of our exhaustive due diligence analysis and trying to understand as to how best we can respond to our call of duty towards uh, our people and our state and our nation as a whole. You have seen in the past, in the preceding years, how we have collectively, while we were uh, part of the government with regional parties, we led the government as Indian National Congress. Subsequently, there was for the first time in 2013, when in the history of state of Meghalaya, there was a government led by Congress without any regional parties as coalition partner. That was a trendsetter. And that was, of course, because the people have had the kind of trust and confidence on the whole team, consequent upon the collective responsibility that we have demonstrated with complete sense of commitment, honesty, and probity in public life. Even in 2018, you have seen on the run-up for election, there has been lots of flip-flop on the run-up for election. We were obviously confident of forming government, but somehow we could not form government. We did end up being the single largest party in 2018 general election. But for the reasons known to all of us, we could not form the government. Again, afterwards, post-election, there has been aggressive activity towards poaching our members from the group that we had. We had 21. Subsequently, because of other reasons, we slowly got reduced, and we are now 17. We were 17. But even as this uh, group of 17, we have collectively demonstrated our commitment to fulfill our purpose in as far as our public life is concerned. Today, as we look at the prevailing political scenario across the nation, and in our state in particular, we can uh, explain uh, as to how this decision, which is a very conscious decision that we have taken, have culminated. It is with a complete sense towards the service that is uh, required to be provided by us as the elected representatives. The commitment towards the people, the commitment towards the state for the larger good of the people and larger good of the state have superseded everything else. There is no other consideration which has uh, brought us to this ultimate decision that we have consciously taken collectively. Today, I am uh, of the opinion that uh, the country must really understand the prevailing political scenario. We have looked at the available space that is available before us to play the role of the opposition and also to play the role of an effective opposition to ultimately uh, seek the mandate of the people to have the handbook of affairs of governance in our hand. Because we feel that we have a team in as far as the state of Meghalaya is concerned who have demonstrated efficiency, commitment, and therefore have been able to uh, get the kind of trust and confidence from the people. Now, this trust and confidence of the people must be honored, and that's the reason why we thought that we must look at an effective available space which can provide us the right kind of platform to fulfill that objective. 
So we did exhaustive study. We did explore the options available. We did try to explore the option within the party itself as to whether as a one of the, not one of the, whether as the oldest party in the country, the grand old party, Indian National Congress, whether as Indian National Congress, we can really fulfill our responsibility and fulfill our purpose in as far as serving the state, serving the nation is concerned. But I'm sorry to say that in spite of all our efforts and endeavor, it seems to be elusive. And there's a reason for us to believe that we are failing in our duty, in our responsibility towards the people and towards the nation in as far as our role as opposition is concerned. In our democracy, there has to be an equilibrium. While we are in opposition, we must play the role of opposition effectively so that we can take head on with the party in power in the event of any situation where we feel that the concerns of the people are not being addressed, the interests of the people are being compromised, the sustainability of our democracies are under threat. There's a reason for the political party in opposition to ensure that space available for the opposition is effectively optimally utilized. And this is something which is wanting in as far as in Indian National Congress is concerned. We have tried our best to prevail upon the leadership. You have seen how many times we have met our trips. We keep on making trips after trips to Delhi, which should have been the other way around. But in spite of that, we have failed to prevail upon the leadership. And today, therefore, we look at available uh, options. And we did try to reach out to many people, many friends. And ultimately, also came across some, uh, we had to look at, OK, can we have the proper analysis of the whole situation to understand the pulse of the people within the state of Meghalaya, in the northeastern region, and across the nation. The pulse of the people today say that, yes, there is a need for a strong pan-India alternative as a political party. And this is based on the perception that the Indian National Congress is failing to really respond to its call of duty as the main opposition party in the country. And therefore, our exercise to find a viable pan-India option to take care of the state, to take care of the region of the Northeast and to tension and the interests of the nation ultimately culminated into this decision. Fortunately, I came across also with many uh, senior political party leaders from different parties, including my uh, uh, association with many senior leaders in the Indian National Congress helped me to understand the ground reality and exactly what is happening in Indian National Congress. Therefore, uh, we had to look at available friends, strategies. I must also be very frank. In search of these, I also end up meeting my friend Prasant Kishorji, one of the strategists whom we all know, who can make a difference and who can be a friend as well. I am very happy to disclose that when we interacted, I felt that we share the same objective aim, where the interest of the people, interest of the state and interest of the nation superseded everything else. And how, as people who are in public life can actually fully, optimally utilize our potentialities in serving the people. Today, I must tell you that in my preceding years, we have not been, full, we have not been able to fully or optimally utilize our potentialities in serving the state and serving the people. Let me be very frank and let me be very blunt. That's why the optimal utilization of our potentialities must not be suppressed because of any unavoidable situation or reason. Therefore, we need to look at how we can best utilize our God-gifted potentialities and be honest to our responsibilities towards our people, towards our state, towards our nation. And with this exercise, we found a space, a platform, and uh, we decided to march with 
All India Trinamool Congress. And uh, I would like to assure all our friends, the people of the state, people of the region, and the nation as a whole. This whole coming together has a larger objective. A larger objective of really finding a viable, strong, acceptable pan-India <coughs> platform to be provided by a political party, by all the like-minded people with, who share the same objective and commitment to come together and collectively try our best. We haven't yet tried our best. I think it is time that we should all try our best. Thank you, friends. Thank you, <coughs> Dr. Mukul Rangma, and my dear friends. You have heard from Dr. Mukul the reasons why we have decided to merge with another political entity which has come up in the last elections with a resounding victory over the BGP in West Bengal. Now, as leaders, we are expected to do something for our people, to lift, to live up to their hopes and aspirations, to live up to their expectations, and to deliver to them the relevant requirements which are expected by each one and every, every one. We have tried that as a very, very strong opposition, as you have seen in the last three and a half years, and we will continue to do so. But like has been what has been said by Dr. Mukul Sama, we need a space to be created wherein our potential to work as leaders can be utilized to the optimum. I must share with you also the recent developments that took place, where I had the opportunity to meet with Mr. Prashant Kishore, who is the leader of the IPAC team, the Indian Political Action Committee, where in his views and ideas and his vision to take the country forward, to fight against the divisive forces and communal forces, matched almost totally with what we also had in mind. Therefore, we decided that since we are on the same path, it would be in the best interest of the people to join hands, to join hands for a better cause, to remove the ambiguities that are happening in our country today in our state, where each and every one of us will get the space <coughs> to live with, within the parameters of the Constitution and our fundamental rights. I personally feel that my discussion with him was so fruitful that we can now create a platform to expand it, not only from in Meghalaya, but in other parts of the Northeast and the country as a whole, to take on the NDA government in the next elections. The space which has been where a void has been created by the ineffectiveness of the International Congress. Now, when we go to another party and merge with them, what do we expect? We expect a team, a leadership that will guide each one of us and we will be guided by our own capabilities also 
to achieve that goal. Therefore, we have now merged with the All India Tribunal Congress and we hope that this merger, we not only hope, we know that this merger will bring a brighter prospect for the entire region, for our state and for the entire country as a whole. I will <clears throat> like to thank each one of you all for being here today and especially all of our members whom we have taken a collective decision not not being uh, coerced by any external factor but by our own decision by giving it a very great thought for the larger interests of our people and I'm sure that from today onwards we will see a team that will work towards achieving that aspiration and hopes of the people. Thank you. <coughs> You have heard me speaking. You have to go beyond the boundaries of the state. I think it's abundantly clear. We have engaged with our leadership in Delhi. So within the confines of the four walls of the party, which I will not share with you, the intention has been always directed towards our responsibility, larger responsibility, to fulfill our purpose as political party. And wherever we are, whether we are in government or whether we are in opposition, we must effectively utilize that space given by people. If people have given us mandate to be in opposition, we must do justice to that space that we occupy. And if we don't do justice, then we are failing our people, we are failing our nation. So please don't reduce this whole larger intent of this team where, you know, you look at our team, you know each one of us, you know each one of our intention. We have demonstrated our intent and commitment in course of our respond, in, in course of our addressing concerns of the people all through the years. We are known people. We are not unknown people. So uh, please do not reduce this whole intent that has brought us together to take this conscious dish. Sir, so what is the reason, what is the reason sir, uh, for you not being able to convince the uh, remaining five uh, Congress MLAs to merge with the PMP? Well, it is not a question of convincing. It's a question of allowing them to take a conscious decision. What will be the next step, uh, Dr. Mukul? So when are you going to seek for a separate identity in the uh, floor of the house? It is a natural process. Okay, it's a natural okay. process. There is nothing which is uh, to be in deviation out of the system that is uh, already laid down. Okay, Doctor. Doctor, what was the last nail in the coffin that made you change your decision with regards to the INC? As I have said, it is a culmination of our long drawn exercise to get things corrected, to get things corrected in order to enable all of us to be able to optimally utilize our potentialities and do justice to the position and space that we occupy in public life. As opposition in Meghalaya, we have, you must appreciate one fact, that as opposition, we have definitely responded to our call of duty. We have not failed in our responsibility. But as a national party, you are also required to see as a party, as a team, where are you? Are you really being able to respond to your call of duty after having the mandate as an opposition across the nation? And how do we respond to that? Now, since we belong to the same family, that's why it's a matter of concern for all of us. We are equally responsible towards our failure or otherwise as public leaders. Because people, when they connect with leaders, they connect their aspirations. They connect, you know, all uh, that they have to be able to realize through those leaders with whom they connect themselves. Therefore, therefore, it is not just a simple, small uh, uh, reason that uh, probably has... Uh, uh, 
made us think. You know, it's as I say, it's not just an exercise of a month or two. It's a long drawn exercise. You will see, I will wait. You will also appreciate one fact. 2018, why we didn't, why we couldn't form government? Why we couldn't form government? These are issues. In spite of being the single largest party, did we try as a political party, in spite of being the uh, largest opposition party in the nation? These are factors I'm just giving you a hint so that you will be more analytic, analytical in your interpretation. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Why have you, like you and your team, lose TMC rather than the visual parties from the state or maybe even the ruling party, the NPP or the BJP? Why have you choose TMC? What's your you have heard me. You have heard my colleague, Mr. Charles Kungro, sharing, you know, what made us actually decide to identify all India Trinamool Congress. It's a culmination of long drawn exercise. Now exercise towards achieving what? We have a role to play. We have committed to the people of the state and people of the nation. What did we commit? <clears throat> to fight against any force that threaten our very existence, that threaten our cohesive, inclusive character of our democracy, where, you know, you see the divisive forces becoming stronger and stronger. Is anybody fighting hard? Or are they using kids' group? We can't fight with kids' group. We have to be determined. We have to take our political opponent heads on because that's what people expect. We can't just have lip service. Therefore, if you look at the culmination of this whole exercise ultimately directed towards a political party which share the same objective the same ob objective of fighting against the divisive forces. And tell me any other political party, if there is any, in the state, do we have NPP? They are part of the team. It's amazing that they sometimes speak against each other. But aren't they same? What is NPP-led government? It's a government installed by BJP. And people of the state must understand one thing. <coughs> BJP leadership knows it fully well that people of the state of Meghalaya, the electorates, are not going to be inclined to vote and support BJP for the reason, reasons best known to all of us. And therefore, they're smart. They have created regional parties who are their B team and they are effectively, very efficiently operating through this modus operandi. So we don't, uh, uh, we don't feel that the state of, uh, the people of Meghalaya will not know it. We will keep on telling, we will keep on reminding the people of the state and also the people of the region. Doctor, you were, you were a... Let me just uh, add to that. One more. To the question raised by Raymond, which was amply replied, by Dr. Mukul Sangma. Let me buttress that a bit. When we took this decision to merge, it was a long drawn discussion over many, many days and weeks, even months. Obviously, when you're taking this decision, which is a major one, you will have to look at a lot of aspects and the reasons and the facts that lie before you. We found that in the All India Trinamool Congress, as an ally, they have proved their worth. And also, a team that is working with them will be working with us also. So we have a backup of strategic thinking and analytic processing which will enable us to become the leaders we need to be and to deliver the goods to the people. That is why, as Dr. Mukul rightly said, the decision taken was for that reason. But to say to go to any other political party, you have to weigh the pros and cons. Will that benefit the people? 
yes or no? It is this reason why we chose to merge with the all networks. Is TMC acceptable to the people of the state? Why not? Because previously you had Purno Tamma who had also associated with the TMC. Well, he became a member of the parliament through TMC also. Isn't it? He did. He did. So okay. if he was elected on the uh, TMC ticket to parliament, I mean a man of such stature, let us not belittle any political party for that reason. It is what you do in the ground that will determine the future of the party. This is how you work, how you serve with your heart and soul. That will depend the, determine the future of that party. So that is our job now. With the help which we'll be getting from all corners, all sides, to build this merger into a very vibrant and strong political party. One by one. Yeah. Yeah. So to say that uh, you know you're, you're eyeing for the Raja Sabha seat. How true is that? <laughs> <laughs> well, if it comes my way, I'll take it. But I don't eye anything. Yeah? If everything I've done in my last 20 years in politics is through due diligence and hard work, and I continue to do that. I have not sought any political chair during my career. And you can ask Dr. Mukul Sangma also. Anybody. I was offered many posts, but I didn't take it. For me, the larger interest of people is paramount in my heart. So that is more important. So somebody asking me for Rajya Sabha's seat, no thank you. I've got enough seats at home. <laughs> Doctor, Doctor, how will you differentiate uh, the TMC with the NPP, the Congress and BJP to the people of the state? You're smart in analyzing. You know it, you interpret, you create stories, you're authors of many stories. I will only supplement. Okay, I will only supplement. Now, <clears throat> you cannot compare All India Trinamul Congress with NPP. You have to look at what we have referred to as the shared agenda, shared objective. The whole objective, the whole ideology that this political party is associated with, affiliated with, is completely different from NPP and other political parties. It's simple. They are fighting against those who nurture an ideology which is not, I must say, compatible to our, our nation with diverse background of people. And it's not compatible to the kind of socio-political spectrum that this nation has. And therefore, I think we have a very clear understanding as to why we have aligned ourselves and marched with All India Trinamool Congress. Doctor, 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 uh, with, yeah. this, uh, with this merger, do you see in 2023 Congress Mukt Meghalaya, as it is stated? See, we do not want to share the same rhetoric what BJP <coughs> has initiated. Our job is to reach out to the people. We have every reason to believe that we'll be able to get the trust and confidence of the people because people of the state of Meghalaya, and we are going beyond the boundaries of the state of Meghalaya. Our responsibility is to look at what happens in Delhi does affect our life, okay? What is decided upon by government of India also affects us. Doesn't it affect? Therefore, I say that everybody has to be directly or indirectly connected with political parties. If somebody is saying that, oh boy, I'm not bothered, well, He's not bothered, but you are in the same ship. If the, we are in the same boat, if the boat sinks, you sink. But sir, like sir, the elections sir. just a year away, how difficult or easy it will be for you to strengthen the new party of <coughs> TMC in Meghalaya and actually win the elections? When the going gets tough, the tough, the tough gets going. <laughs> sir, sir, we have seen uh, the former GNMA <coughs> chairman has announced his decision to contest against you on the Congress to get in. From in no comments. Thank you. Thank you. I've already said 
when I reply to his question. It's just a repetition. I say, you see, what is more important? The most important uh, factor that gives us the strength and inspiration and determination is our uh, resolve to serve the people, our commitment towards serving our people and serving our state. That gives us strength, and that strength will sail us through. Thank you. Those things will unfold eventually. For today, I think we must say uh, be, so that you will have some more stories in the days to come. Thank you. Doctor, what about your uh, last, last, okay. last time you said about the unification of three tribes, uh, three major tribes of Meghalaya? What about this? Uh, All those good things are going to happen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sir, sir, sir. Uh, I'm from India today. Uh, just a needy, needy, sir. Uh,